Trust him and he will help you. Trust him and he will help you. Psalm 37, 5. Psalm 37, 5. Good. Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. You've heard of, race, of car races and foot races, but did you know there was a space race? It started in the 1950s and it was a race between the United States and Russia to see who could get into space and onto the moon first. But it's not nearly as amazing as the trip Jesus made. He traveled all the way from heaven to step out on earth, to live as a man, and to die on the cross. Why? Not to win a race, but to win your heart and to save your soul. Because that's how much he loves you. How great is that? He began reading Bible verses at age three. At age three. You can read. <laughs> he graduated at the top of his class at Brown University at 19. In 1812, Judson and his wife, Anne Hasseltine, sailed for Asia as part of the first American foreign missionary team. They endured many hardships in Burma, including a harsh climate, disease, and the death of a child. Psalm 23, 4, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. When Jesus, was, when Jesus fed 5,000 hungry people in the wilderness, Jake it down, everyone was excited. Herod the bad king had a party that ended in death. Jesus, the king of kings, provided a banquet that gave life. After the people had eaten, Jesus told his disciples to go ahead of him in a boat to the other shore. Peter said, Lord, if it is you, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, said Jesus. Peter got out of the boat and walked toward Jesus on the water. But when Peter saw the wind and the waves, he began to sink. Peter was afraid and cried out, Lord, save me. And Jesus reached out and saved him. But you'd think that the fact that he was already beginning to walk on the water would have been enough for him to have faith, right? That he wouldn't sink. Talk about how even the disciples who spent all their time with Jesus still have doubts, even though they saw all the miracles and all the stuff that they did, that he did, right? And it's warmth and light make earth a place where life can exist. The sun's power comes from reactions unfolding deep within its core. Here, superheated matter is fused or joined together under immense temperatures and pressures. This process releases energy, which works its way out from the center to create the blazing hot, glowing ball that travels across the sky. This image was made by combining 25 photographs to show a year of activity on the sun. Wow. Think, of some, think of something that's going on right now. The air COVID. The corona. <laughs> yeah. The corona. Do you know what the layer under that is called? Convective. No. Yes. Okay, what so yeah. is the next layer called? The no. red layer. Oh, wait. What does it start with? An R. The radiosome. Wow. Look at you. In the cup. For a million dollars. <laughs> what is the center called? The core. <laughs> what? You didn't even you didn't even have to call a friend. <laughs> the better place. All right, what's our animal? The better place. Today? What's our animal for today? Cardinal. It's a bird. It's a bird, but we. Blue jay. Yes. Dove. Wait, what? It's a blue jay. <laughs> I was gonna say we haven't seen one in the backyard, but yes, it's a blue jay. The blue jay nests in mixed deciduous woodlands and has adapted to tree areas in towns and cities. He winters over in Canada and so brings a touch of color to the woods and backyard feeders all through the long gray winter months. Okay, Everly. Take a picture. What are some of the things that the Blue Jay likes to eat in the warm weather? Caterpillars. Caterpillars? Insects. Insects? Can you remember the last one? My mom did No, he's your right. See? Tree frogs? Tree frogs. What do they eat in the winter? <gasps> they eat Shiloh? vegetable matter. Vegetable matter. What else? Um, See? Um, what else? What else? I don't know. I need much more. Acorns. Acorns and other nuts. You're close. Seeds, nuts. What does the What does the blue jay's uh, cry sound like? Jay? Yeah. Her head above the waist is underlined? Yeah. Say it out. And then take out the comma. Oh, yeah, sorry. And add a period. Okay.
Sorry, main clause? Yeah. Beam, uh, sorry, main clause to star? No. Nope. From beam to star? No. Nope. Beauty? To beauty, yeah. Uh, beamed verb. Yep. Uh, beamed verb, the evening star subject. Mm hmm Okay, you can put your stuff away. All right. L M N O P. A B A B C D E F G H H I A K O L L M N O P L M N O P. Let's see. Super nice. Mm -hmm. Is that just a picture of a girl or is that supposed to be somebody that we know? Is that me? Mm -hmm. Aww. Mm -hmm. I like my hair. And you have bangs. I have bangs. Do you think These I... are your eyes. You have mm -hmm. blue eyes. And these are your little cheeks. What? No, these are your cheeks. My but... cheeky cheeks? Um. But, they're, but, you have, this is, but that's your blush. Oh. Do you think I would look good with bangs? Should I cut my hair with bangs? No. Do you think? No, you look already good. Oh. <laughs> Just make it big. Oh, thank you. Because I could do that and I could color my hair blue. No, don't, please. Um, um, <laughs> You're um, really concerned about it. Mom, you have none hair dye. I have none hair dye? I could buy some at the store, though. <laughs> don't. Do <laughs> don't. don't. I asked her, she said she drew a picture of me with blue hair and bangs, so I asked her if I should do that to my hair. She said, no, you look good already the way you are, and Ivy was like, please don't. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> okay. Happy Wednesday. We're halfway through the week, and uh, just chugging along, getting our homeschooling done. It's actually morning break, so... The kiddos just, yeah, you can do that for a little bit. Kids just um, left, well, some of them left on their break. I have the two little girls over here at the table playing with dry erase markers. Yesterday, we actually had two cardinals come, a male and a female. One was like super bright red and the other one was like not so much <laughs> um, looking for seed, but we just ran out of seed, so we gotta fill it up so they come back, which is usually about the time that I, well, I finished my coffee if I have anything left to finish, but I actually did finish it. I only had to warm it up twice today, so that was, <laughs> that was good. I will take my planner and I'll fill in everything that I have to fill in, uh, like for the day, in terms of like work that we've done and stuff like that. And then uh, I've already looked over sort of our overall schedule and um, Shiloh actually has a orthodontist appointment. Today, Finley had one on Monday. It's like the last month and a half. Actually, it kind of feels like since the beginning of the new year, <laughs> we've just been kind of doing all of our like dentist appointments, eye appointments, uh, orthodontist appointments. They've just been lots of clusters of all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so Shiloh had, uh, Finley had one on Monday. She had a couple more brackets put on her braces on her very very back molars never had any brackets so they added some of those and then she'll be going back <clears throat> in a few weeks and stuff we still don't really know at this point how long it's going to be before she gets her braces off everything kind of got sidetracked because of um lockdown and all that kind of stuff going on um it's kind of 
messed up a little bit of the timeline of everything. We're just chugging along with that, but she's being a good sport about all of it. And then uh, today Shiloh is going in because she's getting sort of like um, assessed. I guess. Well, she's already gotten assessed. She's definitely going to be getting braces, but today I guess is the first you know, I don't know, like the official first step. I don't think they're gonna do anything, but they're gonna be sort of mapping out like the official plan for her. Um, we also have her booked for, she needs to get a few of her baby teeth extracted because the adult teeth are already growing in, but the baby teeth, um, like they're not quite in the same spot, so they're not pushing out the baby teeth. There was a chance that she could get them out on her own, but they don't really want to budge. So we're probably going to have to just get them removed uh, so that we can move on with the process of, you know, like fixing up her teeth and stuff like that. But anyway, so we had that this afternoon. So she's currently showering and then I'm going to really try to um, get all her stuff done. We actually we only have like the good and the beautiful left to do so she's gonna be done for the day. We had our morning time um, that I filmed a little bit of. I thought I would just show you guys what we were doing today for our morning time. It, we change it a little bit every day. Like I have a cart back here. Don't mind the <laughs> the totes. We have these totes full of extra um, homeschooling stuff that we had to pull out of the homeschool room because Mike is still working in there fixing it up. But I have my cart back here, you can't see it, but I have like one of those little rolling carts back here with all the things that I sort of mix in and stuff. And I have a few things on a shelf, but I usually just try to switch it up unless it's something that we're, like a book or something like that that we're reading. But we always start off with our, bi with our um, Bible devotional. We're doing the How Great Is Our God um, one. So we do this. And then we have, this is something new that I've added in over the last week or so. Um, I just got this off Amazon. It's the Easter storybook, 40 Bible stories showing who Jesus is. Um, and it's basically leading up to Easter and it's all Bible stories, but it's more as a story form. So it's a little easier for the younger kids to like understand. So we've been doing that every day. And then we also have this uh, book, 50 True Stories of Daring Men of God, Brave Heroes and Bold Defenders. I got this off Amazon as well. They have one um, for women as well that I'll probably end up getting, but it goes through a whole bunch of, just a whole bunch of people through history and now um, and things, great things that they did for for the Lord. So we go through that. And then today, um, like I said, we mix and match things, but today we ended up doing, um, we have this Wild Life of, Wildlife of Canada book that we really enjoy doing. We're actually almost getting to the end of it, which is kind of sad, but it goes through like all the different kinds of wildlife you can find in Canada, characteristics of them, where you find them, all kinds of things. And the kids always like to guess like what the animal that so, we're doing is that day. So today we did the blue jay, which was fun. Wait, wait. Eagle, you can yeah, I think it was a hawk. A hawk. Hawk. We also all, always start with our Bible verse, our memory Bible verse of the week. So on Mondays, we pull out a, a memory card, a memory verse card um, that everybody has, and they color it in. And then that's our verse for the week that everybody has to. Um, Memorize, so we did that. We also have this book, The Mysteries of the Universe. I actually found this a while back at Costco. We have this one, we also have an animal one. This is like a beautiful book. It's just um, little snippets of different different things that have to do with space and astronomy wow. and all kinds of stuff, but the illustrations are uh, super, super nice. Like, look at that. So, and it's just enough. Like, like I said, it's just like a Whoa. little bit of information every day. So we do that not every single day, but I usually throw that in at some point. We're currently switching between, we usually have like a nonfiction and a fiction book going at the same time and I'll just alternate from day to day. So we're actually currently reading um, the second book of the Chronicles of Narnia. So The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, we're doing that one, but today, we did that yesterday. So today uh, we read uh, who was Wa who was George Washington Carver. We have a lot of these books from the Who Was uh, or Who Is series. We just finished. Do you remember? Walt Disney. We did do Walt Disney. You're right, but there was someone else that we did as well. 
with her family, oh, yeah. the clock maker. All right, I had to uh, <laughs> clear my desk because I ran out of disc space, of course. Some of the other books we've been doing are the Christian Heroes Now and Then, and they're like missionary stories. Um, and we just finished, um, a couple days ago, we just finished uh, the story of Corey Ten Boom, which is phenomenal. So anyway, um, that's what we had going today. Usually, if I don't get to it, like beforehand if i have a chance to do it beforehand i will but if i don't then a lot of times i'll do this during morning break time sometimes i do it in the afternoon it all depends on how the day goes but i was able to do it like as soon as we took our break uh, but i always have this stack of stuff <laughs> that i bring down with me so i just do some reading um, some Bible reading, and then I'm going through the uh, Sally Clarkson mom heart moments daily devotionals for lifelong, no, for life giving motherhood. So super great. It's for the entire year, and it's dated. So um, sometimes I don't get to it, but I'll just find the corresponding date, and I'll I'll read that day. And there's a and there's also a scripture. So usually I'll look at that scripture and kind of read it a little bit more in depth. I actually just ordered another one. Um, and I don't know, it might be here today, I'm not sure, um, but I actually just ordered another devotional by uh, John MacArthur. Yeah, arriving today, so maybe I'll show you guys that later, but um, <clears throat> I ordered another one from John MacArthur because he's also one of my favorite like Christian authors and speakers and stuff, so um, we'll see that when we get that in. But anyway, so I have that, and then speaking of John MacArthur, this is the book I'm currently, well, actually, I already read like half of this, three quarters of it um in the summertime this past summer i don't know i feel like we just kind of started school and then i sort of stopped reading it i probably got to about there i decided to pick it up again and start from the beginning because quite frankly i couldn't really remember a lot of it so um, i started reading it again and it's anxious for nothing god's cure for the cares of your soul and it's just all about worry and anxiety and like what the bible says about all of that so it's like a biblical perspective so i'm just i have like a fiction book that i'm reading as well i try to read as well so i'm currently reading the midnight library by matt haig and i'm almost done i have a few chapters left so if i don't get to that in the morning then i'll usually just read that sometime in the afternoon or even at night if i'm having a bath or something like that the big kids are back to work they're doing some of their online schooling right now we have a history lesson to take up, um, well, part two of a history lesson to do. So we'll be doing that. Basically have like all of the good and the beautiful language arts to finish with uh, Shiloh Grayson and Avia. Oh, and reading, I have to listen to Avia read. Um, and then that's it, it'll be lunchtime and then probably Mike will be here shortly after. Oh, I have laundry to switch out. Always. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry for what I have put you through. I still have you on my mind, my mind. My focus been drifting away from you. Just wasn't our time, our time. You can say you can say. Okay, 
so lunch is served. The kids are watching um, a magic school bus. We don't always watch something during lunchtime, but if we are gonna put something on, like if I decide we are gonna watch something, I usually will do it during lunch because it kind of like kills two birds with one stone, you know what I mean? As opposed to like, as opposed to tacking something on to the length of our day. Sometimes we watch magic school house, magic school bus. <laughs> Um, sometimes we watch like a nature deck documentary, we watch different like Canadian based uh, things depending on what we're studying or learning about at the time. And then sometimes we watch like, we'll watch like kids baking challenge <laughs> or they have a new one on, I think it's on Disney, is it? And it's like a building, um, like woodworking one that the kids really like. Um, we've watched the Lego building challenge. And I still consider those kinds of things educational because it's all stuff my kids are interested in. And um, it is kind of like that STEM learning. So anyway, I am just on the computer. Um, I'm actually just checking up on a vlog because as of today, when I'm filming this, I've uploaded our very first video of 2021. <laughs> if you don't already know, we're back. <laughs> just I've made that live a few hours ago and I'm just checking on um, to make sure everything's good. Well, because this is kind of like Shiloh's first, you know, appointment for all things braces, I thought I would tag along. I don't even know actually if I'm gonna be able to go in um, because of all the protocols and stuff. Some places um, only one person is allowed in to accompany. So I'm not sure. I'll be there for moral support. We're off to the orthodontist. Are you nervous? Are you excited? Are you anything? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? But you look nice. Want to show everybody your new shoes? Yes. Look at Shiloh's shoes. Very first pair of Converse shoes. They're very, very fancy. Oh, I wish I had Shiloh's money. I'd throw my money away. <laughs> you do have Shiloh's money. I've been spent on Shiloh though. <laughs> Shiloh's back. So how did it go? Um, well, I'm not going to get braces. You're not going to get braces? I said I'm going to get oh. braces. Oh, <laughs> well we figured that much. Yes, mm -hmm. that's not new. And Anything else? I took else? pictures of my teeth. So you did x-rays? Uh, yes. And, and pictures. Oh, oh, x-rays and pictures. <laughs> okay. I get both. Dad said you're probably not going to need the expander right now? Nope. Did they say right now or just forever? Total. Uh, they're gonna see because they're gonna use the braces, but the braces don't work. I get oh, they might add it in later. Maybe. Oh, so is there a timeline? Two and a half years. No, no. I mean before we start. <laughs> May eleventh. There's an actual date. Apparently. May eleventh. Yeah, they did all the pre stuff today. Wow. That's exciting. Only the top to yeah. start. Do they have something on the bottom arm to get out too? A tooth? Two teeth maybe. Oh. So we figured we figured that much. I don't know. I don't know if I said this already, but yeah, Shallow has like um a couple of baby teeth that refuse to go. They just want to stay. They all want to stay. <laughs> Be one happy family. <laughs> May, very exciting. Do you feel excited? That's like too the sooner you start, the sooner it's done. Think of it that way, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I know, but now you have time to get used to the idea, right? Yeah. You look like a brand new woman, Shiloh. Brand new. <laughs> I got lots of tools in the garage. We could just tap them straight, I think. <laughs> I had my checking in there for Invisalign. I told them I was checking for Eli, but really I was checking for myself. I Watch know. out. I knew that was the case. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Even though we get a discount. Right. I'm. I may take take you up on your offer. Well, which was what? Tools in the garage. You're tapping, tapping my teeth a little bit. A little thickness a little, planer action. Little tapping. Your teeth are really. Silent. <laughs> All right, we are going to hit the mall for just a quick minute. We want to go to the. Um, they have like an espresso. Um, kiosk thing here in the mall to get some more espressos for my coffee maker that I still haven't officially, well I sh kind of showed you in the last vlog but I haven't officially showed you. <laughs> Maybe go by Bath and Body Works because they are having like their semi-annual sale thing so probably get some hand soaps and stuff like that. See what else they got. All right Chilo? Yeah. Look around at some candles, smell some stuff. Uh, it it smells so good. I know. Makes me hungry though. Yeah, because it smells like so much like deliciousness. <laughs> yeah, deliciousness. <laughs>
we have Probably. accomplished our goal. We got some hand soaps and a couple of other things. Some body lotion and some and a spray. What did I get? A body lotion and a spray? Is that what I got? I'll just do a haul in the car right now since I'm here. Let me just move the chair back a bit. I had five for 25, the hand soaps. We're always needing hand soaps. So I got watermelon lemonade because that's always a favorite. I love this candle also. It's one of my favorites for like spring, summer. It's probably gonna go in the kids' bathroom upstairs. Coconut eucalyptus, that's probably going to go in our two-piece bathroom. Sunshine and lemons for the kitchen. It smells good, but I like the, the front of this one. This one will be for Mike and I for our bathroom. And then they just had like, it was basically like leftovers, you know, from last season, I guess. I'm not sure. I was still able to find some more. They had a lot of like Christmassy things. Oh yeah, I got a shower gel too. I got the Central Amber shower gel, black raspberry vanilla body mist, sparkling peach sangria, the 24 hour um, shea body lotion. I got all that. And then we went to the little Nespresso thing there in the middle of the mall. And I still have, um, I got an Nespresso machine for Christmas. That's the one I have upstairs. And it came with like a variety pack thing. And Mike also bought me some, like four or five different coffees to try. So I still have like a ton of coffee. But he wanted to get me another one. Mexico blend. Um, yeah, it's just the Mexico blend. Because I like flavored coffee like as a treat, but if I'm just having coffee like in the morning, I I just like coffee. <laughs> we went to Starbucks to keep with our coffee theme. And Shiloh got a strawberry frap. Is it so delicious? Yeah, that mac good. she's almost done now. Did I just turn your blinker on? Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know. Um that uh match did you have your your dessert thing scone? Not yet. Oh, okay. Like matches her sweater. <laughs> <laughs> so she got that and a scone and then I got I Mike got the um, caramel frap which he likes I've been loving the um, what is this thing called brown sugar the brown sugar why oh, does it keep you're doing that this. You're oh. <laughs> cuz I was like you weren't I was like to I'm it, nowhere so near yeah that. brown sugar uh, espresso I get it with only two shots it comes with four shots of the syrup I get it with the two shots and then I get vanilla cold foam on top and it's so good. And a little coffee cake. We're gonna head home and figure out what's for dinner. Here's Mike and his element. This little workshop he has set up. Um, don't mind the noise, he's sanding, but this is his workshop that he has set up in the garage. All his tools. Ooh, lots of wood. That's part of the um, desktop that he's working on over there. He's always got little side projects going on as well, so he's currently also working on a cutting board for the kitchen. Not quite sure where we're gonna put the bikes in the summer, but I guess cross that path when we get to it. Showing you guys all the things I got for Bath and Body Works, I forgot to show you. This is the lip balm I got. Um, it's the C.O. Bigelow brand, and it's called My Favorite night balm. My lips have been super dry lately and I had heard from a few people that this was like a really good intense overnight uh, balm. So I thought I would try that out. So I got that. I also mentioned um, earlier about a book that I had ordered. I actually ordered two. I forgot <laughs> that I had ordered the other one. But this is the one that I was talking about by John MacArthur that is like a, um, like a devotional. Daily readings for a deeper faith. It's called Drawing Near and it's dated as well. Um, which is nice. So it's a year long, like devotional, um, like little study. And I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be good. I'm excited to add this into my, um, like quiet time. You can, um, listen to his messages on YouTube. He's written a ton of books. So got that. And then I also got this. This is by, uh, Vody Bauckham. Junior, and it's called Family Driven Faith, Doing What It Takes to Raise Sons and Daughters Who Walk with God. So I thought this would be a good read for um, both Mike and I. 
brush up on our parenting and really focus on the things that, you know, like matter. Like I think sometimes, I mean, there's nothing wrong with parenting books, but you know, like your typical parenting books, they tend to focus on a lot of the same things, but just kind of being able to go a little bit deeper and focus on some more like spiritual aspects, um, to raising kids. So we are going to be having um, chicken pot pie from Costco today for dinner. So that's a pretty um, easy supper. It's already in the oven cooking. And then I also have some Caesar salad and I, we're either gonna do um, like sweet rolls or so have garlic bread. So we'll have to see, but um, that'll be dinner. And that's pretty much it. So right now the kids are just having a little bit of screen time before dinner. Mike is working out in the garage. I am probably going to um, switch out the load that I put in today. Um, I'm going to switch it out to the dryer. Actually, like, I'm wondering if I should go for a run. It's like 13 degrees outside. Um, it's pretty nice today and it's like six o'clock right now. This is a little bit later than we normally have dinner, but the food is still going to cook for another 28 minutes or something when I came upstairs. So it would just give me enough time to go for a run. I'm kind of tired <laughs> and actually like my back is kind of sore today. My initial thought is to not to, but I'm always happy when I do it. Like I always feel way better afterwards. So I think I'm gonna suck it up and do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I am back from my run. And like I said, I feel good that I did it. Because I have not been running consistently through the winter, I kind of am starting from scratch. I ran a little like two and a half kilometers. Um, so that's pretty good. Just cool enough to feel refreshing. <laughs> but at some point I was like pu putting up my sleeves because it was getting kind of hot outside. So anyway, I'm back. I'm gonna do a little bit of a stretch and probably um, I'm gonna do a little bit of like an ab just a quick little ab circuit thing. I'm gonna hop in the shower. It'll be just about time for dinner. Actually, the oven was going off as I walked in the door. Let me get cleaned up and then we'll eat some food. Oh, also the raptors are playing today. Go raptors! She just like finished up doing all their chores or after dinner chores. Mike and I's dinner is almost ready. He's just pulling the chicken out of the oven now. It looks so good. It's kind of like a chicken Parmesan type of a thing. I'm in my pajamas already, um, but I threw on my Raptors sweater because Raptors are playing. So very exciting. So we are going to, <laughs> there's a lot of screaming, have dinner, Mike and I and it's kind of like a little mini date night. Whenever we have like HelloFresh, we kind of almost like treat it like a date. We'll probably start the game now um, and watch it uh, simultaneously. And that'll be our night. I don't even know what time it is now. I'm not even sure. 8.30. So in about 
40 minutes the kids will be heading off to bed. I'm gonna say goodnight here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching another day in the life here at our house. A little bit of homeschooling, a little bit of house stuff, running some errands, just doing a little bit of this. And the kids constantly running up and down um, the stairs. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you're new. You can follow me on Instagram and all my social media. It's all Modern Mom for Life. Until next time, I hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you again soon.